What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. We need energy for everything we do. Energy is used all around us. You can be an energy detective. Look around yourself to see how energy is used. Forms of energy. There are many different forms of energy, like heat energy, light energy, and sound energy. Due to this, there are many different ways in which we use energy. Let's say a family is going to a reunion at a park. It's a sunny day. The sun gives off energy. It gives light and heat, which are two forms of energy. The father drives to the park. The car is using energy. The radio plays using another kind of energy. At the park, everyone works to set up for the picnic. Uncle Bob carries a big bag of charcoal for the grill. Other people are carrying coolers filled with ice and drinks. They're all using energy to move things. While the adults are setting up for dinner, the kids are playing. Cousin Kevin has brought a kite. The kite sails in the sky. Energy is helping it fly. Next, the kids climb up a big hill. Then they all roll down the hill. They seem to get extra energy going down. Uncle Bob made a fire in the grill to cook the food. He rings a big bell when everything is ready. The kids come running to eat. Everyone enjoys a great meal. As you can see, there are many different ways to use energy. Did you know there are many different ways to get energy, too? Let's look at some different sources of energy. The day was warm and bright. Where did the light and heat energy come from? You got it right. It's the sun which gives us all this light and heat energy. The people were walking, talking, and playing. Where did their energy come from? It came from the food they ate. Where did the car get its energy to run? It came from gasoline. What about the car's radio? It ran on electrical energy from the battery. How was the kite held up in the sky? By wind energy. What gave the kids extra energy while going down the hill? 
When the kids rolled down the hill, some of that energy came from gravity. What kind of energy did Uncle Bob use to cook the food? He used the fire. That's heat energy. What kind of energy reached the kids' ears to tell them dinner was ready? Absolutely correct. It's the sound energy. What happens to energy after you use it? Do you use it all up and it disappears? No, energy never disappears. It just changes into a different form. Think about Uncle Bob at the picnic. First, he used his body's energy to carry the bag of charcoal. Uncle Bob used the charcoal to make fire, which was energy for cooking the food. When he was done cooking, he used energy from his body to ring the bell. That turned into sound energy for the kids to hear. The kids used energy from their bodies to run to the picnic tables. The food gave more energy to the children so they could go out and play some more. Here is the summary of the lesson.